This is Joanna, and I am back with the videos. I'm starting out very slowly, and so I'm doing love readings only right now in these videos. If you would like a reading, though, you can go to moonwatertarot.com and click on Tarot Services. I'm still offering the business tarot consultations those have been so much fun. Thank you for those that have ordered. And um, that's by phone and or, well, Skype only international uh, calls. But um, regarding the regular readings, love and general questions, I am doing video only right now. So let's go ahead and get started. And these are your love readings through the end of April. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. And uh, if you can tell, there's been a new addition to the family. A beautiful new purple amethyst. Let me show it closer because it is so amazing. I know I saw it. I had to get it. Well, I didn't have to. Okay, I I confess I did not have to, but anyway, it was so hard to pass up. So, so it's my new baby. All right. I know when I first started saying that, I thought, you know, people are going to think I got another cat or something. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's get started with your reading. I think some of you, I'm getting the word move move or moving on and so some of you this may reference moving in together and let me scoot this a little forward because i'm going to angle this down this may uh speak of an actual move like you're going to physically be moving um it can be in the realm of love but I also feel that it's a play on the words of like moving on. Like how do I move forward or how do I want to move forward when it comes to love, especially for single people? Because uh, I'm getting another fire sign. I got this, well, I got this for another sign before and I can't remember which. I think it was Sagittarius kept getting fire signs, but... Uh, with the Sagittarius, well, you may, I, I don't know. I'm getting Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius for you. I'm also getting possibly another water sign, which besides you would be Cancer and Pisces. So you, you may want to watch the Cancer reading or just, you know, whatever resonates when I say something, but definitely if this reading doesn't resonate watch your moon and or rising sign but i'll tell you something there's something about the play on the word move i do feel that there is the possibility of somebody returning in april and if they are returning in april remember they're usually in your past for a reason so i'm not saying to not get back together with them you know, if you're single, but what I am saying is to really look at why they were put in the past in the first place, because my feeling, I'm focused on fire, and I already said, well, you are a water sign, so maybe that's why I'm picking up water, but I'm also getting air, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Now, I'm not sure if I'm getting that because that is of a significant sign or feel like, you know, to err to mean means thoughts. So for you to really think about what you're going to do if this person returns, you could still be in a relationship right now or even married and somebody's str still trying to get you back or come back or return or something like that. Um, now, it could be the other way around where you're trying to get back with somebody, but that's not how I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it more like somebody's wanting to return back to you. But 
with the air, it also has to do with communication. It also has to do with truth and seeking truth, seeking justice, what is fair. I'm also getting a play on the word karmic. I'm getting the word, this is so crazy. I don't know why. I never talk about soulmates and twin flames, and that's all that keeps coming up. You're like the third sign. I think Sagittarius was the other one. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Possibly Cancer or Aries. I, I don't even remember anymore. But uh, I think one of them actually says something in the title. Um, but let me go ahead and start shuffling. And um, Okay, I just have to get my hands here a little... Sometimes these cards just feel like I can't shuffle them. I'm, I'm used to doing those small ones. Okay, this just hopped. So I'm going back to this, and we're going to start here. But really think about, you know, um, because I feel like this person is most likely uh, with the air if they come in. Because I feel like the Knight of Swords where it comes in, and usually when they come in that quickly, they leave that quickly. I'm also seeing the knight of, um, the knight or the king of wands. So I feel like, you know, there can be a lot of passion and interest and energy and, you know, excitement and attraction, but, you know, then it just, you know, that, that goes so far. So let's see what comes up here. The Three of Cups, okay, we have obviously the water signs that I was talking about. Now, this can be a situation, of course, regarding three people, um, can be a partnership, doing something that you love, so it could be in business, but I am focusing on love, love, and the cups do have to do with you know, emotions and feelings, and maybe um, somebody is being... I don't know. I'm kind of focused on how there's three of them, yet I see this hand over here. So let's see what else comes out. Ah, the moon. Again, this is Pisces, but it also definitely represents cancer for me. So a lot of water. I feel like there's a lot of emotions going on. I also feel, because it is in the challenge position, there can be some confusion in love in the month of April and uh, a little bit of anxiety, um, not sure what to do, kind of confused is what I'm getting. Let me keep pulling here and see what else. Gosh, the cards. Okay, yeah, the five of pentacles. There can be a, a situation where, you know, maybe you were once together in the past and now you could still be together, um, but it's like you're together, but it's like you're physically together, but, you know, it's not... Mm, it's not that deep emotional... I don't know. I keep focusing on the moon and I keep focusing on the expression on the face of the moon. I'm getting something about faces like, I don't know, putting on a show, if that makes sense at all. The four of swords. So this can represent somebody that has been like, there hasn't been communication in a while. And all of a sudden, in April, they're coming in. It may be that there's something ending on their end, which has freed them up. And now they're coming in. Because the four represents new beginnings. Um, it also represents foundation, structure, and stability. And I want to see what's underneath here is where I'm being led. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and there goes all the cards. Okay. Well, that was lovely. 
Okay, well, I'm seeing, look, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, it's coming across as the queen, but that could be male or female. Remember I said fire sign. Let's see. Yeah. There's somebody that's trying to return here. Look, we have another three here. Fools rush in. We don't want that to happen. So I feel like weigh the risks and the rewards. There may be some that may be um, a harsh critic or judgmental. Um, I think that some of you, look, somebody's talking again about moving. I kept saying moving, moving on, the past coming back. Um and moving in together this person you guys may be moving in together this person actually i'm seeing this also as like a romeo i feel like this person thinks that they're you know that you guys are soulmates so you are possibly getting a call out of the blue somebody may be asking for some kind of forgiveness and they're wanting you back and they're a fire sign, especially with these, these wands. They may propose or at least move in or talk about, you know, traveling, doing something together. And now that all my cards have fallen, but I will see what the, I, I'm, I've been pulling two cards here. So I feel like there's something about them, well, that can be a bit reckless. I feel like this person uh, most likely does not kind of do well on their own. They have to have their hands in more than one basket. And maybe that's why another three showed up here. But we also have two fours. So there's a very good indication of movement or travel. You may even run into this person while traveling. Um, but let me pull the two cards that I've been pulling. Wow. <laughs> the star card. They definitely, there's some hope or faith. Uh, hope springs eternal. Um, I'm getting also... Oh, what is that? I don't know why I'm being led to Florida. I'm hearing St. Augustine. I'm being led to Florida. I'm hearing Ponce de Leon. And what is that? That water. Like, I feel like this person uh, wants to, what is that? Um, just remain youthful. Like, they don't ever want to age. I mean, who does? But this person's really... Like, they've got to keep on keeping on. <laughs> I don't know. they got to keep on moving. Oh, my gosh. There's the Knight of Wands. But you know what? I can't help it because I saw the other card and the Page of Swords. Remember, I was talking about the Knight or the King of Wands. We got the Queen here. Um, and I was talking about air, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We also have the swords here too. You have a lot to think about. And this person's definitely trying to communicate. And there may be more than one person that is trying to get you back. That may be why we have two threes. So whether you are in a union already, um, with this card, it can be feeling down, feeling anxious, feeling a bit, you know, sad, depressed, because again, it's in the challenge position, but I feel like this person, you know, it's their, their energy is kind of all over the place. And maybe that's why you separated to begin with. And I feel like with the cards flying out, there's probably a lot of spark and energy between the two of you when you get together. Um, but just remember um, to weigh, weigh your options. Don't just rush in completely. Okay, that's kind of what I'm hearing. But with the judgment, what I'm seeing here, I feel 
call out of the blue. There's some healing going on also. And some of you may be moving in together and getting engaged. And with this legal judgment also comes across to me as legal. Could be getting a marriage license, getting some kind of legal things uh, uh, for travel um, arranged like a passport. Uh, legal legalities usually come in with a purchase of a home or property or a move because, you know, they, if it's a rental, you do, you know, a credit check often, reference checks. If you're actually buying a house together, there's going to be a lot of legal paperwork. Some people get, you know, um, uh, attorneys, um, so, but there's a lot of passion here. And I feel like this person may be wanting to build something. But look, there's two people here and one pe person here. And there's three people here. So if this is the type of person that, you know, likes to, like needs or wants to always be with somebody, make sure that they have ended what they've ended because, I don't know, it feels like something is still kind of up in the air, especially with three people over here too. So these are just some messages that are coming through. Remember, you can always get a reading exclusively for you. You can reach me at moonwatertarot.com and just click on tarot services. And um, I would love to look at your situation. So thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye.